schools, you say? Yes, yeah, San Ysidro schools will be closed until this water advisory is lifted, which means, of course, that kids are going to be staying home today and maybe even Monday or Tuesday. We don't know yet if it's going to extend into next week, but we are keeping an eye on that. Now, for those of you that are staying home, you still have to be careful here. Remember, boil water for three minutes, then let it cool before you use it. That means if you're going to drink the tap water, if you're going to brush your teeth, or if you're cooking with it, think about it. If you're going to ingest the water and you live in one of these affected areas, make sure you boil it and let it cool first. Now, what you don't have to do in terms of boiling the water is if you're going to be washing your hands. You still can use that tap water straight out of the faucet. Just make sure you're using soap. Also, uh, showers still good to go as well, too. Just don't swallow the water. However, be careful with young children and babies. This is going to have an impact on restaurants. Those many of them are just closing. Some could change the way that they do business and they are. They're trying to re uh, restrict how much water they are serving maybe to customers or using. However, many of them like the Brigantine, for instance, in Imperial Beach, they have just closed. As for why this is happening, those with the water authority claim E. coli has been found in the water supply. It could be from human or animal waste. We spoke with residents, though, about how they feel this could impact businesses in the community. I think it impacts it a lot. I mean, not just the fact that the beaches have been closed for over 600 days, but, you know, it just impacts our whole, the whole reputation of the city. Yeah. And, and that's terrible because that's a much longer term effect. They're losing some money. For when this is going to all be over, well, they got to test the water and they got to make sure that E. coli is gone. Those of you that are affected, you will get a notification when the advisory is over. But for more tips on how to avoid getting sick, just go to CBS8.com. Eric and Carrie.